वेलकम माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे अवर सब्जेक्ट इज मैथ्स इन मैथ्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न चैप्टर नंबर फिफ्टीन कैलेंडर सो लेट एस स्टार्ट यूज द कैलेंडर ऑफ फेब्रुवरी शोन बिलो टू एंसर द क्वेश्चन नाउ कैलेंडर इज गिवेन वी हैव टू एंसर द आस्ट क्वेश्चन सो फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज What is the date on the third Saturday of February? Let us search in Saturday column. So this is the Saturday column. We want third Saturday, first, second, and third. So the date is sixteen two two thousand nineteen, which means sixteen February two thousand nineteen. Now let's move on to question number two. Second, on which day does the month end? So let us find out the last day of the month, which is called month end. So the last date is twenty eight. We have to find out the day on which the month end. So the last day of the month is Thursday. That is the month ends at. Which day? Thursday. Let's see our next question. Question number three. How many Sundays are there in the given calendar? Now, calendar is given to us, and we have to find out how many Sundays are there in this calendar. So first, we will search Sunday column. Yes. How many Sundays we can see here? One, two, three, four. So, how many Sundays are there in this calendar? There are four Sundays in the given calendar. Now, let's move on to the next question, fourth one. What is the date on the fourth Sunday of February? We have to find out fourth Sunday. So, first we will search Sunday column. In that Sunday columns, we will search fourth Sunday. Yes, we got it. So, what is the date on fourth Sunday? It is twenty four two two thousand nineteen, which means twenty fourth February two thousand nineteen. Come on now, let's see next one. Use the calendar of January shown below to answer the questions. Again, we have to answer the questions by seeing in the calendar. So the question, first question is, how many Wednesdays does the month have? So first we will search Wednesday column. Yes, how many Wednesdays are there? One, two, three, four, five. So there are five Wednesdays in this month. Come on, let us move on next question. Question number two. What is twenty sixth January celebrated as? So yes, my dear children, every year we celebrate this day in the school. Twenty sixth January is celebrated as Republic Day. Now let's see our next question. That is question number three. Which is the day after twenty seventh January? So my dear student. Here we have to find out which day is there after twenty seventh January. So first we will search twenty seventh January in calendar. Yes, we got it. Now twenty seventh January is on Sunday. So the day after twenty seventh January will be which day? Yes, after Sunday, which day comes? Monday. So the day after twenty seventh January is Monday. So let's see next question. Question number four. On which date does the second Saturday of the month fall? Now we have to find out the date on the second Saturday. So first we will search for Saturday column. In that second Saturday, the date is twelfth one two thousand nineteen. So, twelfth of January two thousand nineteen. So, the date on second Saturday of the month is 
12 January 2019. Let's see next question. Which day is celebrated as Teacher's Day? When do we celebrate Teacher's Day? Yes, the answer is 5th of September. We celebrate Teacher's Day on 5th of September every year in India. September 5th is marked by birth anniversary of Dr. Sarvepalli Radhakrishnan. He was a great scholar and an excellent teacher. So in remembrance of him, we celebrate his birthday as Teacher's Day on 5th of September. Let's see next. Independence Day falls on which date? So when do we celebrate Independence Day? So we celebrate Independence Day on 15th of August. Correct? Yes. The Independence Day of India marks the freedom of the country from British Empire in the year 1947. So as we got freedom from Britishers, we celebrate this day as Independence Day. On which date we celebrate? Yes, we celebrate it on 15th of August. Observe the calendar of July 2018 given below and answer the question. So the first question is, what are the dates of Wednesday in July? So we are having July calendar. Let us search Wednesday column and find out the dates. So this is the Wednesday column and the dates are 4th, 11th, 18th and 25th of July. Let's move on to question number 2. If Saturdays and Sundays are weekends, how many weekends and weekdays are there in July? So my dear students, weekends means Saturdays and Sundays and the remaining days are the weekdays. So let us first count how many weekends are there. Let us see first Saturday. So there are 4 Saturdays and 5 Sundays. So total there are 9 weekends. Now let us count remaining weekdays. So let us start from Monday. 5 Mondays. 5 Tuesdays is equal to 10, then 4 Wednesdays is 14, then 4 Thursdays is 18 and 4 Fridays is 22. Therefore, total 22 weekdays are there. 9 weekends and 22 weekdays. Let's see next one. On which day does the month end? So my dear student, Month end is the last day of the month. So here the last date of the month is 31st July 2018. Now 31st July comes on which day? Yes, it is Tuesday. Let's see next one. What is the day and date two days before the fourth Saturday of July? So my dear students, we have to find out the date and the day two days before 4th Saturday. So let us first find out the date on 4th Saturday. It is 28th of July. Now two days before means we will move two days back. So it is 25th of July 2018 that is Thursday. Next one, our country became independent on 15th of August 1947. How many years of independence have we completed? So, my dear students, here we have to find out the years which we have completed till 2020. So, the solution is... On 15th August 2020, we have completed. From 2020, we will subtract 1947. So, how much we will get? See, here, roughly I had done subtraction. So, we have got 73 years. So, we have completed 73 years of independence. Next, whose birthday comes every 4 years? 
and why so let us find out whose birthdays comes after every four years so solution the birthdays of the people who were born on 29th february come every four years because 29th february comes only in a leap year which occurs once every four years this means 29th is a leap day so whosoever birthday falls on 29th of february they must be celebrating their birthday after every four years as it is a leap day india launched the satellite aryabhatta into space the year 2005 was the 30th year after this event so in which year was the satellite launched so my dear students we have to find out the year in which the satellite was launched here they had given that in the year 2005 it has completed 30 years so let us see solution so from 2005 we will subtract 30 so the answer is 1975 so therefore the satellite was launched in the year 1975 Let's move on to next question. If today is two 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 thousand three means second of February two thousand three, then what will be the date exactly after fifteen years from today? So, my dear students, after fifteen years, date will be same. Only the year will be different. So, we are going to add fifteen in the year two thousand and three. So the solution is two thousand three plus fifteen. That is two thousand eighteen. So the date after fifteen years from two to two thousand three will be two to two thousand eighteen. That is second of February two thousand eighteen. Now let's move on to next question. The year nineteen eighty seven was the birth centenary of the great Indian mathematician Ramanujan. What does this tells us? So let's see solution. Centenary means hundred years. In nineteen eighty seven, the nation observed the hundredth birth anniversary of Ramanujan. Therefore, nineteen eighty seven minus hundred, that is. 1887 thus ramanujan was born in the year 1887 how to calculate the age in whole years in months and days now let us find out how to calculate the age in years also months also and days also so let us start Let us assume the age is nine years. Now we are going to assume that the age is nine years, and these nine years we are going to calculate in months, in days. Okay. So as one year is twelve months, so the age in months would be nine multiplied by twelve, that is equal to one hundred and eight months. As one year is equal to three hundred and sixty-five days. The age in days would be nine multiplied by three hundred and sixty-five, which is three thousand two hundred and eighty-five days.